Saliba, where does he rate? I mean, his stats in that game alone, 98 touches, 76 passes, five clearances, four tackles, three interceptions, yeah. seven from seven duels, one. Is he one of the best, if not the best centre half at the moment in the Premier League, Bridgie? Well, as an as an individual, you've got to see stats in every game. Was, I mean, you're saying that first in everything in this game. Yeah, there, were, there wasn't much competition from the centre half of Man United because it was very disjointed. But I, I credit the whole unit of you know you go back to the old Arsenal back four, Boren, Boren, and Arsenal. They used to play the offside trap. They were so well organised uh, under George Graham. The, this back four, especially with the def- like I said, mentioned the midfield as well that play in front of them. They're, they're spectacular. So I'd say that they're one of the the best organised defensive teams this season with Saliba. Is he the best in the Premier League at this moment in time? Um, I, I, man, he's got to be up there, but I can't think of anybody that would have the kind of stats that he's been shown this season. Uh, Phil, have you got you you're the you love a stats pack? Come on, help us out here. Let me let me ask you a question, guys, because I think last week we had the um, Premier League Player of the Season nominees, right? And I looked at the eight players that were nominated and I couldn't believe that Saliba wasn't nominated. So the nominees are Foden, Haaland, Alexander Isak, Martin Odegaard, Cole Palmer, Declan Rice, Virgil van Dijk and Ollie Watkins. Now I get it. See, I'm not having that. I'm not having van Dijk in there this season. No chance because Saliba Saliba needs to be in there. He absolutely needs to be in there. And if you can only have two Arsenal players in there, I would take out Martin Odegaard and put in Saliba. He has been exceptional and... This Arsenal title push, which has gone all the way to the final day of the season, massive credit to them to keeping up to Manchester City, to yeah. forcing Manchester City to, to have to win all their games. It has been founded on this defensive solidity. And we remember last season, Arsenal were really good last season and then they yeah. fell apart in the last couple of months when William Saliba wasn't there. Now, obviously, it is a different team. They have brought in Declan Rice. They are more experienced. But this emergence of Saliba as this key figure in this Arsenal team you, you can't argue with it and he's so young guys he is so we've got yeah. Arsenal have got him for so many more years they've got him for another decade if they want would you would you see the two set players of this like if we we're doing the team of the season the two cent halves would be Saliba and Diaz of Man City or who 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 else we thrown in there? So you think of any? I'm not putting Van Dijk in there, no chance. So if you're saying he's up there, so to the best, is he one of the best? But he's got he's got to be if I'm putting him in the team of the season. Yeah, I I, I think he's right up there. Um, I'm trying to think as well. He's he played, the... but he's played many different positions. Yeah, but see, Christian I would Romero. almost put. A, yeah, I I'd almost put. Yeah, Romero's been very very good. I think for Spurs, but I, I would Too still, many red cards. I, I would actually put a Kanji in there. I would think because I think he's been exceptional in any position he's played. Versatile, um, yeah. The whole season, hey, we, and I'd put him as a centre half. I think he's been exceptional. Yes, he's definitely up there, sporting in the top two for me, Saliba, without a shadow of a doubt. There you do, go. Do, you, do you agree, Phil? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, th- I think he, I think he's got a shout of being the Premier League player of the season, genuinely, for what he's done and uh, what Arsenal have done this season. Like I said, going to the final day of the season, I think it's in large part down to the stability that that he's brought to the team. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.